and the blind dates and, you know, putting yourself out there this week for our Valentine's Day breakfast. Tomorrow we're playing Cupid. Mm. And very conveniently for us, first dates, the Australian version last night, we had a local from Harvey Bay putting herself out there and going on a first date and she joins us this morning. Hey, Kat. Good morning, Paisy and Mac. How are you going? Good, thank you. It was a lot of fun watching you and Kevin last night. You guys seem to have a, uh, a fair bit of fun. Mm. <laughs> she really ain't dead yet. <laughs> Not dead yet. 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 Keyword yet. Yeah. No, I'm happy. I'm happy to, to pay it off, yeah. Well, thank you. Pay it off. Pay it off by doing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Making it rain. The best thing about Kat is her sense of humour. Ozzy, she's got a great personality, so Kat is definitely girlfriend material. Kevin was smitten, Kat. Did you watch the show last night? I did, and I may have cringed just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I think, you know, take your hat off, because it's not easy to go on a first date for one, but to do it on national television for yeah. two, does the show fly you somewhere? Like, was it in Melbourne, or where? where is it? So I was on the really early flight through Brisbane down to Sydney, yeah. and then basically, yeah, we got... All the producers to talk to us and uh we went to a really nice restaurant and basically yeah it's, as you see on the show it's a real restaurant but i guess the magic of tv yes. that uh, other people are also having dates yeah uh, but they may be extras yeah, okay gotcha. gotcha gotcha we met kevin and he said he was a security guy at the casino and he also had been a bodyguard for jackie chan how much of that is true do you think well, I think definitely the casino was very true because he had, like, a lot of information, but I'm not sure about the Jackie Chan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that being said, who knows? Um, I could have been a secret agent in my past life too. Who knows? It's <laughs> pretty funny. I was saying earlier to Mac, they do seem to serve you a lot of drinks on the dates. Not just your date, but all the dates. Do you think that's a part of the ploy? So we actually fully pay for our dates. So they don't supply us with any alcohol. It's our choice if we want to drink or not. Okay. But, yes, they definitely come over quite regularly. Hey, do you want a refill? Hey, do you want a refill? <laughs> right. So they don't actually give you a per diem or anything? There's no money thrown at you? No. So it's a uh, smaller menu for that restaurant wherever they've set it. And you basically pay one price and you can order whatever you want. Yeah, because at the end you say, oh, you know, can we split the bill? And Kevin's like, no, no, I'll pay. And he does end up paying. But, yeah, we wondered if that was just a... Part of the game. Part of the game, yeah. But you do actually pay no. for your own meal. Okay. We do, yeah. Yeah, they asked you about the second date. Yeah, at the end of each first date on the show, they ask each couple whether they want to come back for another date. Do you want to go on a second date? I'll say yes. <laughs> I think there's more of a friendship um, than anything more romantic. But the banter was there. It's just, unfortunately, nothing of the feels happened. Um, but still... <laughs> You're a really awesome guy, so are you happy with a hug? Of course. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, Kat, the look on Kevin's face. He was devastated. I think I broke his heart. <laughs> uh, look, I don't know. I think Kevin will bounce back because at the end of the show, we saw this ad. <laughs> Did you all miss me? He's back. <laughs> Can you show me some of your Taekwondo moves? Oh, God. Do you call me a legal weapon for a reason? <laughs> Can Kevin Kung Fu his way into this girl's heart? This guy knows his martial arts. <laughs> Kevin is going back on the show. Kat, will you be making another appearance? I will not. No? Okay. I'm currently single up here in Hubby Bay, so I figured I might as well put myself out there and come uh, visit you guys tomorrow yeah, morning. definitely. We can't wait for you to be our first dates expert tomorrow on the show. We're broadcasting from Eat at Dan and Steph's yep. for Valentine's Day breakfast. We've got the two couples secured. Yes. So we've got Andrew and Jade, and we've got Rochelle and Chester, and you'll be like a, a roving commentator, reporter on the ground, Kat. Very nice, very nice. And Kat, look, if there are any guys out there that uh, are eligible, uh, can they come down and say day to you while we're there? I mean, why not? That would be great. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> good on you, Kat. Okay, he's a fun cat. We really look forward to seeing you there tomorrow morning at Eat at Dan and Steph's for breakfast for Valentine's Day. Not a problem. Thanks very much for your time this morning, guys. Casey and Mac.